Well, hello. Howdy. Here I am, still cleaning my guns. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> but uh, this time, I'm going to show you my two flintlocks. They ain't much, but, well, actually I've got a brown best, but uh, these are both rifled flintlocks. <clears throat> but they have something unique in common. They're both made in Spain. Take a gander. This is my main one here. Uh, ain't much. I don't know the, the maker. Or oh, actually, I know they both, they're both marked Spain on the barrel. <clears throat> this one's marked Connecticut, Connecticut Valley Arms, but it's also marked Spain. So this was imported by Connecticut Valley Arms, but uh, for but from some Spanish ma manufacturer. It has a patch box, it has a set trigger, but it has a little problem, well, for me. This is a southpaw flintlock. It's set up left-handed. This one's right-handed, but it doesn't have a set trigger. But even at that, it's still a fairly good shooter. So I, I like it, you know, it works for me. Uh, I would, would not mind having something a little more uh, uh, American, uh, like, uh, was it Kibler? The, the ones I was just reading about that uh, he's now shipping. And uh, Garrett from 11 Bang Bang was showing off his, and it just looked gorgeous. And it, sh it shot perfectly. I mean, these ones are, are click bangs. Uh, either one of them, doesn't matter when you shoot it, it goes, it, 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 you put good powder in there, you put in 4F uh, to, uh, to prime it, and, and they both have a, a noticeable hang fire, both of them, uh, regardless of the powder, regardless of the charge, regardless of anything else. I don't know if it's that the, uh, the flash hole is positioned wrong. This one's right in line with the top of the, of the pan. And this one, well, this one's a little low. Yeah, it's a little low. So maybe that's the problem here, but it doesn't explain this one because it's at the top of the pan and that means it should work better. I have shot both of these. Uh, this one is a much, it's more accurate, but it's also a little more cumbersome because I'm right-handed. I can shoot left-handed, but I don't shoot as well left-handed as I shoot right-handed. And I can shoot comparably well with both of these, the, meaning I shoot lousy with this and good with this. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, these are my two flintlocks, uh, the flintlock rifles I have. As I said, I have a brown bess, but it's a, a smoothbore. I also have a, a smoothbore uh, <clears throat> pistol uh, flintlock, but again, it's um, it's a, a smoothbore. Oh, and I have a, uh, a blunderbuss. That's my other flintlock. But, uh, you know, this, this is the only two rifles I have in flintlock. And I like flintlock. It's just fun to play with. They are fun. I would rather have a, a more... You know, you look at the, those Pennsylvania gun shows and the like on YouTube, and there there are just some drop jaw gorgeous things being advertised. But they start at fifteen hundred and go up to outrageous from there. I don't have that kind of money, alas. So I I go and haunt uh, estate sales and uh, farm auctions and the like, and I come up with things like this. These are these are workable, but. Um, they're, they're hardly of the same caliber as those, uh, those beautiful handmade ones that you see back east.